Hi crafty friends, we are back. We are doing some eco dyeing in the backyard on the porch. And we've picked out some things. We don't know how they'll they'll go. I don't have Lisa here with me as my guide. She's the eco dyeing guru, but <laughs> we're going to see what we can we can do with it. So, I've got some string we'll tie up our bundles of paper after we get our um, plant material and then over here on the burner next to the grill i have my pot of water Woohoo! nice and hot i need to add some more to it we put some rusty things in there and some vinegar and water and I did put a few um, drops of food coloring in there because I don't have a lot of colorful things in my plants. I may have to add some more water to that. Oh, and instead of a rock to hold it down, I have this big old rusty axe head. So we will be back and show you how we're coming along. Okay, so we're back. Dakota is working on layering um, her vegetation or her plant material on the papers. Hopefully you can hear me okay. The air conditioner is running outside. It's kind of loud. So she's dipping her plant material in some alum water. A little bit of that in the water and dipping the plants in it. Alum is used in dyeing processes. Um, and we also use it when we do um, paper marbling. So we've got regular copy paper. We've got some watercolor paper. And then I have some white cardstock, so we're going to try all the different kinds. Um, and then here's some some colorful things off my plants. This is, a, I think, a double impatient or a New Guinea impatient, or I don't remember what that one is. This is a purple, um, I, my aunt calls it spider plant. I don't really know what the real name of it is, but it's got a very deep purple dye, so I'm hoping hoping that will show up really well. Okay, so we have layered all kinds of goodies in there and now we're just going to tie it up real tight like a Christmas package and then stick it in our stinky pot of water. <laughs> it has vinegar in it so it doesn't smell very nice. Um, I put a little thin sheet of cardboard back here. It was actually the back to, oops, I tied my I tore my paper a little bit there. It's the back to the watercolor paper pad, so that will give us a little stiffness. Hopefully that's tight enough. We just don't want our um, leaves and vegetation to float out. And we want to stay nice and tidy. There goes a little spider. You escaped a bad fate, little spider. <laughs> save that little bug too. Okay, and now we're going to drop it in the pot. <laughs> it does stink, doesn't it? Uh, let's see. Oh, I forgot my tongs. I gotta move this dusty wire. Let that come to a boil again. And here's our alum water we were dipping our plants in. We'll just throw that in there too. And then here's our leftover plants. So I'm just going to throw those in there. And then we're going to put the lid on and we'll be back. All right, so we've dumped our water and pulled our stack of papers out and now we're going to see um, how we did, see our results. Whoop. Whoop. Yeah. 
Not a lot. <laughs> better results than we've had before. It's all right. Sometimes they look better after they dry. How did that one do? Um, here. I'll back up. Uh, what was this? Was this the peony yeah, leaves? Peony leaves. Okay. Peony leaves and some of that Pe spider later. Spider, spider bush. Spider, spider lady bush. Whatever it's called. Spider lady. <laughs> <laughs> spider lady bush. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but okay. Spider, spider <laughs> it's the one that had those purplish blossoms, isn't it? Oh, shoot. That is not good. Okay, that's not too bad. And the, yeah, those. Is it hot? Yeah, it's hot. It's a big metal object. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. <laughs> okay, anyway. I want to sing the Jeopardy theme song. Do, 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 oh, and she ripped it. <laughs> this is hard work here. It's easy holding the camera through, so I'm on that side. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Look at that purple thing. Yeah. thingy. After we pick all the, the stuff off oh, of it. There's some on the back. Oh, the, the um, fern. Really the fern came out really well. But that was really good. Okay, cool. Yeah, and we'll just... So we're not After we pick all the crud based, off, then it'll... Based on these peony bush leaves work really well. Yeah, those worked really well, the peony leaves. And the ferns. And uh, mulberry leaves. Oh, mulberry leaves. Is that what the light yellow yeah, color was? Yeah, that's what mulberry, that's mulberry leaves. Mulberry tree. Ooh, look at that one. What is that? Oh, oh that's the um, maple leaf. Yeah. Oh, maple leaf. Cool. Yeah, the maple leaf. Oh, yay! We did get some halfway decent results. We're not having the... Uh, okay. Be free. <laughs> Be free. We're not having Lisa here to, to guide us through the process. Oh. We did pretty good. We had a good teacher. Okay, well, I am going to go for now, and then at the very end, when she gets them all laid out, we clean them up a little bit, then we will pop back in. <laughs> uh, just wanted to show you our results after we're done. Cody's crazy. I think she's hungry. <laughs> so, we learned a lot from doing this. We learned that the maple leaves... Um, do really really well the ferns um, that's grapevine leaf um, this pale yellow is mulberry leaves that's mulberry leaves okay uh, oh here grapevine leaves over here there goes the air conditioner again so it's up really loud so but we oh and the raspberry bush where's the raspberry is that what this is yeah okay that's raspberry leaf so it's yeah and then they all look completely different on the opposite side um, because they, they you know each side has something different on it so I think for our first time without any supervision I think we did a pretty good job so thanks for joining us today um, in our little silly adventure just having some summertime fun we'll see you guys really soon bye